Alrighty, so we have another construction update. Um, so it looks like another lift hill piece has finally been shipped. I've actually been sitting here waiting um, for this second, third, and fourth piece to ship. They're each 60 feet long approximately, and we need about three or four pieces, and we only had one. So um, it looks like now we only have two pieces left to ship approximately. I could be a little off, but according to the blueprints, it looks like two more just to ship. So that's pretty awesome. And it also looks like the first piece that was ready to ship into the storage site yesterday is in the storage site sitting next to that support beam that is erected and ready to be um, installed. It looks like they're doing some work on either the uh, zero G roll or still installing the crane. I'm gonna go with the second option. They're still installing the crane. It's just weird that the crane bits are still right there. Um, so I'll see tomorrow when I fly if they actually attempt to put this track piece in place. Um, but yeah, I couldn't tell what they were doing over by the zero G roll. I'll have a look on Saturday when I go in and get up close shots. But as you can see here, there is a giant crane a different one than I've ever seen before in there near Timberwolf lifting some stuff into place. And that is where the zero G roll will take place. So you're going to come into the zero G roll, which then exit like exits like a dive loop. It's the weirdest inversion. Um, they're doing some work there. Um, and as you can see, the yellow crane is being assembled. You can actually see it right there. They're similar to the ones on Carolyn's construction site. Very similar. Actually, you can tell just by the looks of it. Not much else going on from what I can tell. I did see activity in the Timberwolf Forest, so it looks like they're probably starting the footers there. Um, the excavator is not next to Mindbuster, which we saw yesterday. Thus, it's probably over there in the Timberwolf Forest digging some holes. We saw tree removal happening slowly. I'm assuming that's going to continue to happen. I don't think we're going to see the removal of all the trees like we've seen in the animation. Again, we we were told at the media event that the animation isn't necessarily fully true when it comes to showing theming. Um, again, this animation looks like it was made ages ago. There's old attractions in the animation, and uh, we all know the old rumor of uh, our dive coaster supposed to be um, constructed back in 2016 so it all like comes down to whether you believe that rumor or not but there's definitely evidence to suggest that so what's interesting is it looks like they're doing a lot of prep work today so as you can see there's the lift piece right next to the green a-frame support structure um, or v-shape i think it's called an a-frame though um, so that'll probably go up tomorrow or the day after depending on what's going on it looks like the crane in the background there is doing some either, I don't know what it's doing, but maybe probably building the big giant yellow crane that'll lift that 60 foot long piece into place. Um, as discussed yesterday, this looks like a really steep um, incline for a lift hill, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this filler update. I'll be up again tomorrow to see if they start erecting the uh, lift hill. Been waiting a couple of days. I really thought today would be the day, but maybe because of the thunderstorms passing over, they didn't uh, end up doing it. So thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.